top 10 football on a Thursday night. Number three, nationally ranked Shamanad Madonna against sixth ranked Miami Central, right here in South Florida where they're great players, they're great teams, and these two have won state championships ad nauseum over the past couple of years. And we are ready to go from Miami with Miami Central kicking off to Shamanad Madonna. And away we go from South Florida. A, a rolling kick down to the goal line in trouble with it. And right at the goal line, Arwin Jackson is pummeled. So bobbling at his feet. And Trader goes to the top side. And Bailey's looking at him, goes to the back shoulder and fits it in there. So Jeremiah Smith, the Ohio State commit, moves the change of the first down on the timing route with his quarterback, Bailey. This drive started inside the one, and Davion Gauze for the first time with a hand on the ground, and he moves the pile ahead across the 45 for a first down. They're not running the ball out of there. They put it in the hands of C.J. Bailey, the quarterback, who bobbles this snap and throws it out in the perimeter complete. Nearly got jumped as JoJo Trader hops through the sideline, and he's out of bounds. Opponents at that time. Uh, Bailey gets it away for the end zone, and he funnels it in there for a touchdown. Kyle Washington completes the 99-yard drive for Shamanad Madonna. It was Bailey to Washington for 28 yards to complete as long of a drive as you can have. Yeah, he was a middle receiver in man coverage and really nice job by him, but it was an outstanding throw by the North Carolina State Commit. Watch him just drop it in there, an outstanding just concentration. Well, steady on the shoulders of C.J. Bailey at quarterback, and Abu Akel adds on to make it 7-0. At the false start, backs him up. And Smith to throw it, going right to Sterling, and the back shoulder is complete. And out to the 40-yard line for a first down. After the penalty, they find him. Just a nice little window there. Feels that the Lions are the team to beat, that they're the better team, and they want to prove people wrong. Smith out to the edge, complete. And a nice move by Luane McCoy. And there goes the Florida State commit. Down the sideline and out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Pushed him back before the timeout. Ford, the running back, hopping between the seam, and he bangs in for a touchdown. A 12-yard hit for Jaden Ford, and an extra point away from tying it. Uh, it just, he has such great quickness and lateral agility. He sees the seam, he just hits it. And then he made diminutive, diminutive in stature, but you see the tough way that he finishes that run, lowering his shoulder, powering his way through. But he saw that crease, in, uh, excuse me, that crease, and just bam, he hit it quick. A nice response there from that Rockets program. Miami Central that was extended by the Wayne McCoy's long catch and run. And we are tied in a top 10 game in South Florida for their opening touchdown. And it's Jeremiah Smith going on the wheel. He goes underneath complete. And Jakari Lewis has a first down. So Smith used as a decoy there, wide receiver, JoJo Trader. And a fake to Trader in the slot. And C.J. Bailey takes off using those long strides and taking a pop near a first down. And a flag comes in at the end of it. And Vincent Shavers, guy committed to Miami. Coach Joseph from Miami Central said it's really he's just a mature player for his age. And Bailey to the single side, and he floats it over the linebacker to, Trader, or to Smith. And he's at the sticks for a first down for C.J. Bailey. As his team on the doorstep of the red zone. Goes single side again, almost the same exact shot. Goes to the back shoulder for Smith. And it's against Luane McCoy, the Florida State commit. And the ball juggling around in that pile. And Davion Gauze in the back with it right at the line of scrimmage. He's center for this play because he lost his helmet. And Michael Brennan went out of the game. Losing his helmet. Gauze motions out. Bailey bangs it in there for a touchdown. Jeremiah Smith on the board for Shamanad Madonna. Showing one of the Power Five connections that they have. North Carolina State commits C.J. Bailey hitting the Ohio State five-star Jeremiah Smith. Slant route. Looked just like his early days with South Florida Express. Remember, this is a two-quarterback system for Miami Central. 
Antonio Smith, the throwing quarterback. And he takes a shot here and he feeds it in to Khalil Sterling again. Second big play between Smith and Sterling. And close the, the space. And the touchdown score earlier, Ford out of that tackle somehow. Oh, that was magician-like for Ford to not take a loss on that play. Press his way and they're going to watch him work his way up, find it, and then he just finds a little bit of daylight, is able to quickly cut and get to the edge. Head coach Drew Joseph, and he said, he reminded him of Darren Sproles. Uh, the Sproles-like running back into the second level again. Yeah, the first number that he was given when he played for Coach Joseph. And Smith to throw, pumps middle, and goes end zone incomplete. Uh, buzzed it across the middle. Yeah, Terrell Short on his first snap of the night, running the option, and the mobile quarterback down near the one-yard line. Was he in? Yes, he was! One snap, one touchdown for J.C. Evans. Brought him in and immediately uses his legs, gets to the edge, and as he's going down, it's like he fell on the defender. And it was tough to see there with the official, but as he was getting snap of the night. Now Christian Hobbs out to try to tie it. And he does. Took that big hit. Best starting field position of the night for Shaman Madonna. And C.J. Bailey has a ton of green grass. Nobody even in the picture in that second level when he takes off and scrambles for a first down. And Bailey had to wait for Washington to get set. And he goes single side looking for Smith. It pops up and is incomplete. Sekou Smith and Lewayne McCoy combining top and bottom. And a flag comes out. But there is no play clock visible in the end zone. Five-yard penalty on the offense. Still fourth down. Range. So they'll go for it on fourth down and nine. And Bailey hanging in there. What a catch by Trader. One-hand snag, and now he's on the run and tripped up after he extends the drive with a ridiculous catch over the middle. Well, one of the traits of JoJo Trader, his is strong hands, and you just see him out there, just put out that right hand, just stab the ball out of the air. Just right at the point of the ball, knocks it to himself, and then the concentration to finish the catch. On third down and long, pressure in the face of Bailey, and he throws that away. Andrew Abu Akel. And that does hug the upright and hangs in. Like you said, they didn't kick him a lot last year. The holding on Chris Ewald, Michigan committed cornerback, sets up first down and 10. And Davis into the second level and still moving the legs. They have defensive linemen in pursuit. And they still can't bring him down across the 45. And Jaden Ford checks back in at running back. On second down and 10. Smith given time, throwing deep, has Sterling again. He's been a big play target all year. He has again tonight against the number three team of the country. Yeah, looking for Sterling there. Does a nice job of just working back to the football. And inside the 30 yard line, Smith taking a shot for the end zone. Another explosive play. He finds McCoy for a touchdown from 30 out. Try with the score with his legs this time. A.J. Smith doing it with his arm. There's a boy who's played tonight. These two top ten programs continue to go back and forth, but this time Miami Central is able to take the lead, going deep to the Florida State commit, Lewayne McCoy. Stars, they have the same amount of catches, almost the same amount of yardage. Bailey escapes and changing that arm angle again. He whips it in. And Jakari Lewis 
Out near the chains, held on to it. Shamad Abadana trying to answer trailing, and over the middle, incomplete. And Smith was cutting in. <laughs> Signaling first down when he was five yards short. Great catch from McCoy. And now manageable, Smith takes a big shot, and it's incomplete. Well, Vincent Shavers with hands on, Marcelin with the tackle. And out to the perimeter, Washington springs free. He had the touchdown earlier in the game. And he moves the chains out across the 45-yard line. And Shaman Abadana trying to take a lead back near the midpoint of the second quarter. And a wide-open receiver for Bailey. And he slings it in for another big hitter. And C.J. Bailey finds Denarius Gray to move the chains across midfield. And McCoy coming off, there was also the roughing the passer penalty that has Shaman Abadana inside the red zone with the top coverage guy out of the game. And Bailey goes! Jeremiah Smith with one hand for a highlight reel touchdown. It's on the football, but those receivers work on those one-handed catch, and that's why Trader a little bit earlier, and there Smith, they make it look so effortless. Might not be surprised. Nationally, wow. I mean, yeah. this is a crazy ordeal right here. Do you think uh, Julio Jones would approve of that catch? I think so. And I think people nationally are starting to see what Damian Jones, his head coach, was talking about when he said, because of his size and his hands and his speed. Uh, out to the edge, Crothers couldn't quite get home, and over the top, uh, leaping J.C. Evans is right at the sticks. Here's the ball. The pressure from Shaman Abadana again, and Evans can't get out of it. He is sacked by Caleb Stewart. And Bailey with a quick set, throws to the field side, and that's right on target for a first down to Smith. Miami Central in one way or another, probably getting it back before halftime. Here's Washington setting up a screen. And inside the 15-yard line near a first down, and the ball came out. Miami Central will push that ball out. Marcelin is near the bottom of that pile again, and it is Shaman Abadana ball. Got back on top of it inside the 15. Daylight. He can explode downfield, but they have not been able to break him free. Uh, Bailey back across the middle, and he's got six again. Denarius Gray finds the house from 14 yards out. They feel like he is the next breakout receiver on this team. Really nice first half. Putting it right where it needs to be, right over the, the linebacker. Right on Gray's between the numbers. Big receiver, a lot of talent. He said he reminded him a little bit more of Jeremiah. Central had to use that last time out with the play clock winding down last drive. And setting up a screen. Here's Ford reversing field. And Ford has a first down out across the 35. Set that screen up well. Miami Central down 10 points. And throwing on fourth down and one. Smith has it complete. And the drive will continue. Late in this half, they complete it to Kimothy Massey. And now got to go in a hurry with 15 seconds to go. This will likely be the last play of this half. Smith rolls out, throwing on the move, and incomplete. So that tackle by Shepard, you're right, ends up being the difference between a couple more plays and that being the final play of the half. And Shaman Abadana, the number three team of the country, leads by 10. Abu Akel to kick off with Miami Central to get the ball first in this second half. Off we go. And he kicks it deep and into the end zone. Making big plays on both sides of the ball tonight. Smith on third down, he fires it in, it's caught by Sterling, and he's rung down by Ewald after a first down. And even that one went for a first down. His fourth catch, and the running game. And getting Miami Central into the second level with King Davis, and back-to-back -back first downs. They're playing St. Francis in Fort Lauderdale.
made a bunch of big plays. Here's Ford switching fields. First down. Now dancing out of a tackle and shoving his way out of a tackle. And that's something to say about it. Try to find some more ways to get the football in his hands. Ford up the gut, exploding into the secondary. And the third and down, third down and nine run call. Back to the air on first down. And threaded in there for a first down through the air. This drive starting to move. There's Ford on the ground. It's Massey through the air on the reception. This is the running quarterback, J.C. Evans, into the game. And he does call his own number with a nasty stiff arm. Cuts inside the five and extends the drive to first and goal. Looking to make it a one-score game again. Evans keeps it himself, running the option out to Davis. And he dives forward and has a touchdown. On the triple option for King Davis, finding the end zone. We got J.C. Evans in. You mentioned the fake there. He pulls it, gets out to the edge, and then the pitch. Stretching out. We'll see, gonna get that pitch a little bit off to the back hip. Does a nice job reeling it in. And then extending, getting through. So Saquon Patterson stopped him short. You can see here, he does a nice job. He's gonna extend here. Where does that knee come down? Oh! Ooh, actually, he got in because it looked like that knee landed on Patterson's arm. Number six team in the country has just made this a three-point game with a PAT from Christian Hobbs. Just need to run the football there to break. Mid-70s temps. Now a third down for C.J. Bailey in the Shamanamadana offense. And they're not getting there. Miami Central after the score. Two big tackles from Lamar Smith, future Buckeye Jeremiah Smith. This is Miami Central trying to retake a lead for the first time since early second quarter. And Smith funnels it out to the perimeter for short. And he zigzags ahead to the 45. Big man touchdown against St. Francis on kickoff weekend. This is a deep ball, and that is intercepted. Curtis John Vieira took a huge hit and still held on for the pick. John Vieira, you're going to see him right in the middle of your screen, showing the range, able to look it in there. And he's going to, you're right, take a big hit there at the end. Good awareness by the receiver. Try to knock that ball loose, but see the range from John Vieira. So back to back penalties up front. And Bailey going across the middle, and that's picked off. Amari Wallace out of a tackle, and he has a cavalry out in front of him. He's thinking about reversing fields, and he's chased down by Washington. Amari Wallace, the four-star, an ESPN Junior 300 player, away with a pick, and there is a flag down. During the return, you had a block in the back by the returning team. You also had a sideline interference. It'll be their ball first and 10 from the succeeding spot. Turnover of the night for C.J. Bailey. They're looking for Smith downfield, but you see number two, Wallace, come in the screen. Is that ball kind of hung up there? And the block in the back at the end of it. You can see Smith there. I'm sorry, excuse me, Wallace there. Cut in front of Smith. This is a guy that's getting a national platform, and he's going to surprise the country. And he's played uh, terrific tonight, and they've got him bottled up to end up on his recruiting page. He's like a, just a boulder running down hill with agility. It's Evans in at quarterback and an ankle tackle after a first down. Well, they went for it on fourth down and one in their own territory. And will they have a decision to make? Out to the edge off the pitch. And they will have to make that decision. Kaj Baker shut down. Bryce Stringer strung it out. Shamanam Madonna's won five out of the last six in their classification. On fourth and four, Smith to throw it and drills it incomplete. And they've got the first down and more. And Juan Coleman moves the chains. Touchdown would give him the lead. 
And it's Smith at quarterback out of the timeout. The flag comes out as that ball is complete. But we'll check on the flag after Coleman catches that near the sticks right in front of Sejour. Third down and eight. McCall comes into the slot out of the backfield and the throw goes to McCall. And he's on the shakes and stays on his feet, dragging guys inside the five. And he's got a first down with that extra effort. He has three backs with him, looking for a go-ahead score. It's a quarterback draw and it's shut down. Bryce Stringer setting the edge. He had help closing it out by Brecky and Harold from the inside. Madonna head coach said that some days I think my defense stinks because they're going against our offense. They're about to find out what they're made of here. And back-to-back -back run stuffing plays. With Patterson up in safety help. That started on a turnover on an interception for Amari Wallace. Smith off the of play action. Out to the edge. He stumbles and he's sandwiched down. Three consecutive plays with no ground given for the Shamanabadana defense. And that all started with the secondary. There was uh, Christian Hobbs out to try to level the score. Uh, on an angle, Hobbs did not get it. Shamana Madonna stays in front by three in the miss from Hobbs. He got some power behind it, but he didn't get any pop. No air. Eight plays for seven yards since the break. Bailey guns it out to the sideline, and they do have enough. Knee to the 30, Jeremiah Smith gains the 31. Miami Central has kept this game in Shaman Abadana's favor. Uh, out to the edge, Lewis ripping through defenders and has a first down. Up top. Uh, four come, screen out to Washington, and he's not going anywhere. Bottled up for no gain, an active night for Ezekiel Marcelin, and he has the play on third down. And it is a fake. To the up back, Shaman Abadana reversing field, and they have the first down. There is a flag down, Denzel Johnson the up back. We'll see if it was legal though, a flag at the line of scrimmage. Holding on the offense, 10 yard penalty, replay fourth down. Yeah, it was right on the edge where they were trying to bring it back. You're going to see coming there. You see number 24 just holding number five. An easy call there for the official. Darius Smith at the edge block. What a gutsy call that was. Right around midfield, up three. But the holding wipes it away for Shamanab Madonna. And Sterling will let it roll, and so will the Lions on their way to the championship. These teams are used to rolling. And they've gone head-to-head -head three point game with Miami Central down three, getting the first touch with Ford out to the edge to start a potential game-defining drive with a first down. Short comes in motion on fourth and three and they do snap it. Smith to throw and that is caught. It's caught for a first down, Coleman working back to get it. We've got to try to think, let's put ourselves in a more manageable position on fourth down. Uh, Smith going single side, incomplete. And a flag comes out at the end of it. A very late flag on Smith's throw. JoJo Trader and Lawan McCoy. The reversing rolls there, Trader now in at corner and you can see the tug on the jersey right there working against a Florida State commit first but they get a huge chunk of yardage back putting him in a much more attainable situation Davis out to the edge and Davis is out of bounds with the first down with Miami Central on the march trailing by three a look to the flat over the middle it's popped up and intercepted Shamanov See, you. they're going to try to work it over the middle of the field. I think that was the Miami commit Patterson working there, creating the deflection number zero. Yep, and then John Bier with his second interception of the night. 
on the spot. And Smith is taking a big hit as he delivered. 56 seconds away from another one. There's Lewis, and he stopped short of the line to gain. But Miami Central can't stop the clock. So the discussion has been intense about... Running back, running no, out the clock. I would think about a potential rugby-style kick here. Uh, Abu Akel gets it away, keeps it in play. Khalil Sterling has a clean path at it up to midfield. And there is maybe time left. We'll see. Zero's on the clock right now. It looked like he went down with one second left. Those have been the two big play targets. At three DBs deep. Smith chucks it deep. Down toward the 10-yard line. It's tipped, and it's incomplete. Shamanan Madonna has a fourth top 25 win. And they take out Miami Central by three points. The number three team in the country adds to it an impressive resume with this great battle against the number six ranked Rockets. Holding on for the win, it was their offense in the first half that helped them get the lead and defense that sealed the win.